Here's your host, Clay Nelson. Hey, hi, this is Clay Nelson, Clay Nelson Life Balance. And um, you're listening to KZSB AM 1290, and this is the Clay Nelson Life Balance Hour. And uh, this week's topic is called How to Hear and Be Heard. You know what I mean? Remember last week we talked about avoiding avoidance. And I got so many emails in um, during the week about, uh, wow, that was a great show. And, gee, there's a lot, you know, a lot of conversation about how do you keep from avoiding avoidance again after you've learned not to avoid the avoidance. And so it's all about communication, ladies and gentlemen. And so I thought I'd do a show today on how to be, how to hear what someone's saying and then how to be heard, how to really get what you want to say to be heard by the people you're talking to. But we first, need to have somebody come up and pinch you really hard. Yeah, pinch you or, or kick you <laughs> I in some case. I need you to case. hear me. Here it is. Okay, now, as you notice, Susan's back on the show with me now. She's going to be on the show at least, at least I've talked her into twice a month, and I'd like to have her do it every show, but... I don't know. Maybe if somebody would like to call in and say, Susan, we like you best <laughs> or whatever, maybe she might consider being on the show more often. So now, so Susan's here. Diego's here. We're live streaming. All right. So you're going to be able to pick us up on YouTube uh, and uh, in about probably, what, three or four days. And um, so now here's what you do to live stream is, is you go to my website, www.claynelsonlifebalance.com, and you go forward slash and you type in the word watch, W-A-T-C-H. That'll take you over to uh, the streaming area, and then you just follow the yellow brick road, and you can either uh, sign up and get a, what, a username and a password, and you can send emails into me, right, live on the show, okay? And we can talk to you live on the show across, you know, the email channel. And the live show is on Wednesday from 2 to yeah. Two to three on Wednesdays. Oh, that's right. And the live show is on two. How did I ever do the show without you? I don't know. Oh, it's man. Like, that's on that's Pacific time. Yeah. So the live show, the, the, the Ustream show is on Wednesdays from two to three, which is what we're doing right now. So now, uh, now you can also call me because this is a, a talk show and Susan's here. And you guys always want to talk to Susan more than you want to talk to me. But if you want to talk to Susan or Humble Clay, you can just <laughs> dial in at 564-1290. Or you can go 866. If you're long distance, you can go 866-564-1290. Or you can do what most people do, and that's email. You can email me at clay at media sb. That's M-E-D-I-A-S-B dot com. Okay? Now, today's show. Hmm. Uh... Oh, one other note is we had the personal planning workshop last week, and it was fantastic. We had 15 people in from all over the United States. Uh, probably the most fun, best workshop we've ever it done. It was great. It was a great workshop. I mean, yeah. we had some people growing all over the place, and, you know, everybody got their purpose date, but everybody decided to live their lives differently. Everybody decided to develop clearing partners and communicate differently and have their lives work and to forgive the past and live for the future and uh, – it worked very well, wouldn't you say? I, I would say that. Yes. Yes. So now, how to hear and be heard. Now, listen to what I'm going to say now, okay? That's one way to be heard is you ask, you know. Now, it says, you never listened to me. You didn't hear what I said. Now, how many times has someone said that to you? Or how many times have you felt that way from another? You didn't hear me. Or how about this? You get an answer back. Uh, from something you asked, and clearly the answer you got shows you that they didn't hear a word you said. <laughs> it's all about what I call filtered listening, which we'll go into. That's never happened to us before, No, 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 <laughs> never <laughs> us. We've been together for... About 10 out of 12 communications yeah. every day. <laughs> yeah, well, we've been together for, what, 28 years, you know, yeah, married for 24. Four. Oh, good. I did. You know how I did that, right? <laughs> you, did, you did good. Yeah, so we married for 24, and we've only spent probably 23 and a half years learning how to communicate with each other. And, and we're that, still learning. Yeah, and it's really the truth. That's the way it works. So, do, you know, it's like, do you ever hear complaints like, you know, like what the statement was I said earlier? It says, you never listened to me. You didn't hear what I said. And by the way, I'm mad at you. All right? So it's like, what's it like? What do you do? How do you handle something like that? And if that goes on and on and on forever, especially in a, in a committed relationship, it's like you're committed to be with the person, but you're not really there because you really believe they can't or won't hear who you are. Or how about this? Have you ever wanted to communicate with somebody and not be fixed? Yes. Whoa. You know, I think one of Susan's biggest complaints of me is, uh, is I can't just get what she has to say. I always have to fix what she has to say. And, of course, there's probably not another woman in the world that feels that way, just Susan, right? 
Probably. Probably, Probably. yeah. <laughs> okay, so did, you know, do you ever hear complaints like this from the people in your life? Uh, you know, I said, what are they really saying to you? You know, you were standing there. You heard every word that I said. So uh, what's there to complain about? And the truth is you didn't hear what they said. Um, there's really nothing to complain about because the people that are talking to you have given up on you years ago. So it's like, okay, what do we do? How do we handle that? Well, don't you think that sometimes a person's understanding of what you said, they they think that they really got what you said. Oh, yeah. But clearly in their actions afterwards, they didn't understand what you said. Okay, so I got a question for you. It's, sure. not, it's not even in the radio show. It's just a oh my God. on top of it question. <laughs> okay, what? <laughs> what do you think the biggest thing is that's missing when you get frustrated when you know someone didn't hear what you really thought you articulated very well? What's the number one thing that just makes you go bananas? It's lack of patience. This is called okay. de- this is called dead air time right now. <laughs> okay. Lack of patience. Well, couldn't well okay. So in a, in the communication, like when you think that that person that you're saying something to yeah. got what you had to say. Yeah. No, that that she didn't get what you had to say. Not she. Oh, that was at forty and seven. I mean, I'm talking about anybody, <laughs> of course. Anyway, okay. so you get what I'm saying? Okay. So then then don't you think that maybe that person can kind of give you back what they got, what you said? Okay, but when you know. Because the answer you got back wasn't an answer that goes along with the question you asked. Mm-hmm. The first thing you get is impatient with the other person. Yeah. Like they should know better than that. They weren't listening. And then you go into make wrong. And as soon as you go into make wrong, you lose any chance at all of communicating. As That's soon true. as you get there, the frustration of here we go again takes over the environment. Yeah. Right? And yep. after yep. many years of that, you just give up and walk away. Both of you give up and walk <laughs> away. Yep. All right. I mean, I've seen it happen in speakers in big shows where the first 20 rows of the audience is sitting there going, gee, I wonder what this guy's talking about. It's because he's not talking to the audience. He's talking to he's talking about himself. You know, he's going, wow, aren't I great? It's all about me, 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 I, I, I. It's not about being responsible.